When it comes to the education side of things, why do you hope as many people around Middle Georgia or even the U.S. or internationally come here to take in what you and a lot of other amazing people have been able to put together under one roof? Well, obviously as an older person now, I'm being 84, what a great joy it is to walk into the museum now and see children's groups or elderly groups really enjoying themselves and learning and having fun learning and to see their own brothers and sisters um, if they happen to be African-American or black. Um, and then white people can come here also and see the beauty and the strength and the accomplishments of the African-American community. Um, everything needs financial support, no matter what people do, no matter what we do. Why do you hope that people grab memberships, whether it be $20 from a student or a corporation that puts in $2,500? Why do you hope and pray that people jump on board, get memberships, and really help support this fine place? Well, that's a great question. I really think, not because of me, but the genius of the idea in the first place. And obviously this wasn't the first museum ever started. And there have been so many other uh, museums started throughout the country. Not a lot, but there were some. And, um, but in Middle Georgia, in Macon, Georgia, that wasn't exactly the world's most popular idea at the time. But uh, nevertheless, we did get a lot of support because they thought you know, when one thinks of education and achievement uh, and just great beauty, it's, it's a natural attraction to me. Of course, I'm biased. <laughs> and what, was it a dream? What is a, what is it a, was it a vision? What was it and how did it come to you to build a place like this? Well, obviously, it, some people ask me, and w even the museum says, often in some of the literature, help build a dream. And in a way, it is a dream, but it wasn't a dream for me. It was hard work, working among people who were oppressed and terrorized every day of their life, and making a simple statement, this is going to change. And, um, it might sound, I'm not a very large man, and so I'm not going to beat anybody up. <laughs> and, but I knew by ideas and the goodness of people that this inherently, w w because the truth, the truth of the strength and the intelligence and the moral integrity and other things we see in the black community are self-evident. If, ever, if someone would like to open up their eyes and look at it. You know. Mr. Richard Kyle, my thank pleasure. You. You're welcome. Thank you and so much thank for your you. time. Appreciate your and kindness. Thank you for creating something so amazing. Thank you, you're very kind. And I mean that, really.